Mrs. Moore has fond memories of her youth, but that was not always the reality for Negroes in Omaha or the nation as a whole. The end of World War I brought on a lot of change. The enlisted men were returning home. Government spending on arms was winding down. Competition for work became fierce. For the first time, whites had to compete with blacks for jobs. Whites turned their anger and frustration on black neighborhoods, spreading terror and fear nationwide. Many were killed. The year was 1919, and it was the bloodiest summer ever between the races. Omaha was not spared its measure of violence. That September, a white woman, Agnes Lobeck, accused a black packing house worker, Will Brown, of rape. He was arrested, held and questioned by police in the Douglas County Jail. Out on the street, a mob of angry men demanded Brown be handed over to them. The police refused. The mob then set fire to the jail. As officers battled the flames, the mob stormed in and drug Brown out to the street below. By now, the mob had grown to several thousand. Omaha Mayor Ed Smith tried to stop them, but the vigilantes turned their rage on him. The mayor narrowly escaped being lynched and was cut down in time to save his life. Brown was not so lucky. He was shot hundreds of times. Then his body was hung from a light pole. The body was dragged through the streets of downtown Omaha. Finally, it was torched and burned. By morning, the city was placed under martial law. Troops were posted along the streets to prevent further outbreaks of violence. The riot was confined to the courthouse and parts of downtown. However, its impact extended deep into the black community. And I remember the humiliation. I remember that I was ashamed. I can remember the fear among the people of the North, and it was a fear for all of us. There wasn't too many of the black children in the high school at that time, so for a couple of days, most of us stayed away. We were very ashamed, very ashamed. Why were you ashamed? Well, I, you know, when you're 14, uh, when things like that kind of shock you, and uh, you can't believe this, that they can do anything. And then it kind of strikes you for maybe the first time that um, because your color, that that kind of does something to you. That, that kind of does something to you. Uh -huh. It always did, and it, it always has and still does. <laughs> 